Hello everyone, this is Inge Mark with another box and breakdown of the demo. This is Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City for the PlayStation 3. To jump right into it, there was a good little small size update. This update size was 158 megabytes and will take you to version 1.03. Now I did play the entire game without this update and completed it and I did experience some minor bugs and hiccups but nothing that pre prevented progression or just outright lockup of the game. Now these bugs were where my character was constantly melling or stomping on the ground or he was constantly unloading his entire clip of his gun. I did press some random buttons here and there just to get him to stop doing it and it did work like switching out your guns or hitting a different button to get him to stop shooting or melling and it worked. But I never experienced any game breaking bugs or anything that prevented me from progressing so that was good. And then I did complete the entire game so don't feel like you need to have this update. Now, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City takes place in, of course, Raccoon City. It is kind of a spin-off, but yet some minor canon relations to the actual trilogy or tri uh, number sequels in the game. There's a big hubbub of what's actually canon and what's not. But you take control of Delta Squad, who is a squad that is in league with Umbrella, and you're, of course, going in there with Alpha Team that were be trying to get the G-Virus. And as we all know, uh, something happens, the G-Virus gets out, and the T-Virus infects the water supply and affects the entire Raccoon City. Well... Delta Squad is blamed for this outbreak and it's your job to try to remove all any evidence relating to Umbrella to the outbreak. And that pretty much summarizes it. It's a kind of a team-based, team squad-based kind of game where it really relies on going online. But you can play the entire game offline with no problems. As you progress, you have specific characters you can play as. Each one has their own abilities and uh skills and so forth and you can unlock more guns and equipment and abilities as you progress the story the game isn't very long it won't take you maybe about four or five hours to beat it's not a very long game and there is some good amount of dlc that were really should have been on the disc to begin with it's allowed you to play the other squads in the game like echo squad and spec ops there's a three squad campaign kind of set up and it just really stinks that they weren't on the disc which were clearly intentional to be they sold at a higher price as dlc this is back in the old days where capcom was really trying to just be money scumming like ea or activision trying to squeeze out every single dollar they can get from the consumer luckily that backfired on them and we've been lately getting a lot more better products from Capcom in terms of more completed and more polished. But Operation Raccoon City is, of course, made by a third party, and there's a, bit of, a lot of backlash in saying the game is terrible. Now, I didn't go into this paying full price. I did not I did pay a good little bit, because surprisingly getting a new copy for PS3 isn't the cheapest still right now, but I did have fun with the game. I thought it was a, a different kind of neat style for, like, Left 4 Dead or something like that, where you're going in there, guns a-blazing, fighting Resident Evil zombies and monsters and so forth, and taking place in Raccoon City, and I loved some of the characters and just the environment. I mean, a lot of people got upset because, it, of course, it's action-packed, it's not really survival horror, and it does change somewhat of the original canon story in some degree. I can understand some frustration in this, but the overall experience of the game was still fun. What I loved the most about the game was just, I loved the fact that we got to play as the bad guys. I got, I loved the fact that we had to get to play as part of Umbrella. This is something that I just really enjoyed, and I talked about this very in like Undertale and other games. I'm getting tired of constantly playing the good guy. I love getting the chance to play as the bad guy doing bad things. It's just, it's it's refreshing. It's rewarding in its own different way. It's just, it's fun to sometimes get break free from the typical trope of saving the day, saving the world and everything. I love being a bad guy sometimes and just wreaking havoc. But the game does play in smoothly. You can uh, melee, shoot guns, you can get items in the environment that will give you grenades and health packs, and, and you can get infected in the game, and you need an infection spray to get rid of the infection. It, 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 it is definitely more of an action-packed game. Don't go into expecting name Resident Evil 2 Remake Survival Horror. But for what they were aiming for, I think they did actually do a pretty good job. Like a Left 4 Dead like uh, action-packed holocaust trying to survive Raccoon City. I thought this was very well done, and it's another thing I want to stress. The game is good, and this is the thing I have aggravated with the recent name, 
of who's a fan of Resident Evil or not. Many people act like Resident Evil is based upon its characters, Leon, Chris, and Jill, and Claire, that they are what defy Resident Evil, and this is very wrong. Resident Evil is defined by its environment and its world and it's just its overall style. And that's what makes a Resident Evil game. What makes Resident Evil is, of course, Umbrella, Raccoon City, and just the overall the bioweapons and so forth. There's nothing wrong with more of an action-packed version of the game. And I think they did a good job with this. I would very much like to see Capcom actually come back and try this again. Just a little bit more polish and main course, main longer campaign and so forth. And it's another thing I want to stress and how much I love the original three Resident Evil's environment world in Raccoon City. I love Resident Evil 4, 5, and 7 and so forth, but it's the, it's the point where I like to say that Resident Evil 4 was such an amazing game, but it was also the downfall of Resident Evil where they went away from the more realistic, grittier of Umbrella and a dark corporation and so forth, and then you can see they were more focused on the characters and just over-exaggeration of uh, bioweapons and so forth. I, I miss Resident Evil's old trilogy style because it just felt like grounded. It felt like just zombies running around, bioweapons running around, and just that. It was it was just something special, and I think that's what made even playing this Ra Operation Raccoon City a lot of fun because it just felt grounded instead of going into the the BSSA and stuff like that, and then you get the molded and so forth. I know it's all connected in canon and story, but it just, there's something about the original Raccoon City and the original Corporation of Umbrella that made Risen Evil special, and that's why I think the original three trilogies, or Outbreak games, like Outbreak 1 and 2, are just really well loved because it all takes place within a grounded Raccoon City Umbrella Corporation style. I hope my point gets across, but if you're looking into Operation Raccoon City, I think it's a neat little game to have on your shelf. If you're a Ra Resident Evil fan, you probably already have a copy, but don't overlook it. If you can come across a used copy or something like that, the game is fun. I did enjoy it. I ran through it both on normal and higher up difficulties, and I did have a good time. But don't go into expecting your AI partners are going to be going to be any good. They're extremely dumb, and they'll get stuck and just start shooting randomly at stuff. It's pretty hilarious, actually, but... Play it like you normally would, just going solo, lone wolf, don't expect anything from your AI partners. Which is another odd thing, since Resident Evil 5 and 6 had split screen, it seems very odd that this game didn't have split screen. It seemed like a perfect game to have split screen. It just seems like a miss, a major miss <laughs> on, the, on the game. But overall, I did enjoy it. Is it amazing? Is it like the top tier Resident Evil games you can get? No. But it is a worthy uh, spin-off, I thought, to Resident Evil, and I very much would like to see either a remake or maybe just a simple remaster with all the DLC and stuff like that on disc. I think it's a neat idea and a neat game, and I would very much like Capcom to just really look at it, try to reproach it in more of an action way. I thought it was a good idea, and I would hope to see more of it in the future. So thank you all for watching. You can find links in the description if you're an Insta copy, and I'll see you guys in my next unboxing video. Bye-bye.